Welcome to the Appalachian Heritage Woodshop. Woodworking with an Appalachian flair. This is Gerald Vance with the Appalachian Heritage Woodshop. Today I want to show you how I make a mortise or a groove that is perfectly centered on a board. I do this a lot when I do frame and panel construction. Uh, that's commonly referred to as a stub mortise and tenon. It's also helpful if you use a uh, haunched mortise and tenon. So what I've got is the dado blade set in the table saw. I've got the two outside cutters on the arbor and no chippers. So that's about a quarter of an inch wide. Now what I do is I set the fence over so that this blade is slightly off center from the thickness of the board that I'm using. So then I'll take one face and put against the fence and run it through and then rotate it and the other face against the fence and run it through and that'll perfectly center up the groove or the mortise. Now normally when you do a mortise and tenon joint, especially if you're using hand tools, you'll pick out the best face of the board and that will be your front face, which is your reference face. And the reason you do that, if there's any discrepancy, it'll be on the back side, which is the non-prominent view, so you won't see it. This method, using a table saw, will give you a perfectly centered groove so you're referencing the center of the board and not a particular face. And now you can see I've got a perfectly centered groove which will be my mortise for a stub mortise and tenon. This is Gerald Vance with the Appalachian Heritage Woodshop reminding you be proud of your Appalachian heritage.